All right, everybody, welcome back to Planet Zoo. Um, I have mostly finished the training, mostly as in done enough. Uh, I've gotten like two stars on all the training maps. There's some extra stuff you can do, but eh, I figured it out. Um, so I'm in franchise mode now with Blaine Zoo Incorporated. And basically this is the start from scratch with limited money, classic mode, I would call it. They call it franchise mode. You can apparently like sell your animals online. Sorry, sorry, trade your animals online. Um, but we're gonna start our first zoo in my own area. Um, yeah, which is temperate North America. There we go. Uh, name Zoo. Oh, we're gonna call it. We're we're gonna name it after my dog who just walked away. I guess he didn't like me uh, talking. All right, fine. Um, Hunter, uh, Hunter's, Hunter's Ridge Zoo. There we go. Wait, that cost me money? Or not money? Sorry, those are the those are the nature points. I don't really know what to call them, so I'm just gonna call them nature points. Okay, first things first. Pause. Pause. So. We start off with this real big area uh, to look at and to work with. Um, okay, so I have an idea of how I want to start. First, I need to change the camera back around. There we go. Now we're moving faster. Actually, let me get that up a little bit. I keep tweaking this key sensitivity. Move that up a bit. I don't mind the mouse sensitivity being down a little bit, but the key sensitivity, yeah, there we go. Okay, so um, one idea I have is to have an area to help get us started. Um, one thing, I've watched a couple of videos, and one thing people have suggested a lot of is make sure your zookeepers and your employees that work with the animals have easy and fast access to their buildings and their animals. So what I want to do is I want to make a circle of exhibits where the interior is a circle of staff only stuff. Because the other advantage of this is it means the staff stuff is hidden from the guests, which they don't like. And I said in the first video, I don't agree with that, but it's the game. So we're going to go with it. Like, Every zoo I've ever been to, or every amusement park that has a zoo, has a train ride, and part of the train ride inevitably takes you, like, behind the scenes. I find that fascinating. I don't care about seeing the staff play. Anyways. Um, so that's what I want to try and shoot for. Uh, but for now, let's, let's get into just laying out the initial, that's not even what I want. Uh, the initial idea here. I don't, I haven't really decided on like what type of paths. They don't cost any more or less. I, I feel like, I feel like I like a more natural. I think I kind of like the, the stone path actually. I mean, honestly, or the asphalt. Ooh, the dark asphalt. That's kind of nice. Um, I figured out my keystrokes to adjust length. And width, which actually, I want to do this first one aligning to the grid. And then I want square edges. See, I've been doing my training. Oh, wait, hold on. Undo. I'm so glad this game has control Z. Um, I do not want flattened terrain. I do not want tunneling. I do not want path supports. There we go. Okay, so. I want them to be able to come out and have a nice wide area to walk around. Uh, this will also branch off and probably have shops and bathrooms and stuff. Um, and maybe some decorative stuff here in the middle that they walk through. <coughs> but for now, in preparation of everything else that's going on, we're going to leave it kind of long and unused for right now. Um, and so I guess now is when actually I need to start the staff path. Let's go ahead and kind of plan on this. Um, that's fine. Just bring this up the middle. So this is a staff only path. 
And I need to make the circle pretty large. Um, the problem is, I don't know how far this money is going to go. I haven't, I've watched somebody play franchise mode and they actually, they did quite a bit of decorating with their initial $40,000. Uh, so we're going to be, but we're going to be keeping it pretty functional at first before we start making stuff pretty. I'm going to go in a few more and then make an area for the zookeepers. Um, I guess I can, I, I can build stuff around this too, but a lot of the things are just a one by one square. Okay, let's do that. That will surely be enough to get us started. Um, the other thing I've learned by watching people and I, well, I haven't seen someone do this, but I've seen what happens when they don't do this is you need to start with your barriers, not your paths. Cause your paths, first of all, the paths have a feature where they can click, sorry, uh, they can snap alongside barriers. Um, so let's work on barriers. Now, one other thing I figured out is the null barrier, which is what allows you to make your own man-made barriers, be it cliffs or rocks or whatever, they're free. Um, so they allow you to trace out an area and then you can change it to a different type of barrier. Uh, so by default, at first, I will be using null barriers to, to get my size and stuff. Uh, but actually, first, what we need to do is figure out what kind of animal we want. We'll get to the, there's still staff stuff to worry about, but for now, we need to figure out what kind of animal we want. Uh, oh, but I can't do this until I have the, never mind. <laughs> Scratch what I just said. Can't do that until we have the facilities to do said thing. Uh, so staff facilities. Is there a way for me to hide pre-built stuff? Blueprints off. Yes, there we go. Which, by the way, I did get this with the the deluxe edition and the the DLC, the Arctic DLC, so we can do some snow stuff uh, later on. Um, okay, so Trade Center, that's something big that we need. Oh, this doesn't even, that doesn't even fit the way I thought it did. Huh. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. Can you fit two of those in that? Surely not. I am already loving this idea, though. Can I do a custom move on this? I can. So I can get it just right. I don't think I'll be able to do two. Which, if that's the case, I'll start the circle going this way. And I can always change this pathing later if I need to. Um, so then a keeper's hut. Which, no. Okay, so I won't be able to do that. That's fine. Trying to think of what things we actually need. I don't think we need quarantine. We don't need research. We do need a staff room. They will whine and complain if they don't have a staff room. Are you serious? You're not gonna place? What's wrong with that? All right, well, exit the group. Y'all don't have to be connected. Actually, can I remove you from the group? I don't necessarily want you split from group. There we go. Cool. Um, okay. Workshop. I don't know what that is. Veterinary surgery. Probably going to be important eventually, but for now, I think that's all we need. So now, animal training. Um, let's sort by... Oh... And I kind of thought, oh, conservation credits, nature points, eh, same thing. Um, I kind of thought the nature points were like a global thing that you kept in the game, but it's not, it's per zoo. Okay, so let's sort by appeal. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that stuff's way too expensive. Um, can I say only things I can afford? That 
that's a shame. Um, uh, that's gender species. Okay. Because I'd like to find something that, you know, and I know this is per specific animal, not per species, but it'd be nice to get something of high value. Get a lot of bang for my buck. <clears throat> 320, that's the lowest I've seen. Still not quite low enough. 231, that's getting closer. And then what we're going to do, by the way, I'm we're going to be doing some like really thorough research looking at what these animals need um in the zoopedia that they have um so be prepared for that i want to make sure we like do this right i don't want to do like this guessing game or figure it out as i go <clears throat> all right there's the first one i okay a hippo um that'd be pretty cool it's lots of water though we'd have to have a water treatment plant let's Favorite that. 197, a rhino. Hmm. And another hippo. Himalayan brown bear. That's cool. Um, a red panda. Oh, he's cute. Another Himalayan brown bear. Bears sound bears sound a bit easier to me. Of course, red pandas too. Um, what do they do? They require any water? There, there's no way they're going to be as a big of an attraction. Granted, I can have both. Okay, they don't do interspecies stuff. They don't require water. They require climbing, and they have a. Uh, dadgummit I got hold up my mind doesn't compute Celsius get off of that game uh, please tell me I can change this from Celsius okay units distance unit speed unit are you kidding me dadgummit crap all right whatever um okay so let's let's take a look at our favorites <clears throat> i didn't favorite all those what That's really weird. Okay, well, we know it was uh, da, 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 hippopotamus and some type of bear, Himalayan. Oh, it's right there. Filter. Oh, maybe. The, no, they're still there. I don't understand. Okay, that that filter clearly does not work. Which is a shame. What's the point of favoriting? Um, I think I want to do... Oof. Oh, all of the Himalayan brown bears are nature points. So I could only get one. Are they okay by themselves? Let's see. Um... Group size, one to two, up to one male, up to one female. Oh, okay. So it can handle by itself. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's plan on... Let's go ahead and plan on buying this Himalayan brown bear, Vinaya. Adopt her. Success. And then let's take a look at these hippos. 
Um, okay, group size. Three to 30, up to one male, up to 29 females. So only one male. Okay. Well, these are all female, so it doesn't matter. Um, cool. Well, it says they want three minimum. So let's get the three of these. It's expensive, but we're going to do it. Okay, so we're going to have hippos and Himalayan bears. Himalayan brown bear, whatever it is. Um, we're also over here going to need power and water treatment. Which should suffice. Whoops. Mess that up. Ah, too far. Okay, power. No. Exit group. And water treatment. I haven't I haven't done water treatment yet, but it looks like it just does like an area. So that's good. Okay, so. Whew, okay, this is uh this is actually a really big area. Um <clears throat> way bigger than i expected now that i'm looking at it but let's let's see okay so let's do the let's do the bear first um how big of a space does the himalayan brown bear need let's just look through all this um the himalayan brown bear or ursus arctus isabellinus is a subspecies of brown bear that lives in the mountains of afghanistan pakistan Northern India. Okay, so they like mountains. Okay, I'm, I'm actually got a. I've got. A, I've got a um. A, a a notepad file open up over here, uh, typing in things that I want to make sure I do. So mountains. <clears throat> they are very rare and extremely endangered. Uh, the size of the population left in the wild are unknown. Uh, shouldn't that be is unknown? The size is unknown. Uh, but they are threatened by numerous factors, including habitat and fr uh, fragmentation through human development as well. It's always the human's fault. Um, okay, so natural habitat. Okay, so they like taiga and tundra. So they like it cold. Negative 10 to negative 22 C. We need a grade. Okay, so hold on. Let me let me type this stuff out. They need uh, space, 550 meters squared. No water? I'm going to give him some water. Bears like water. Maybe not these bears. No climbing. And temp is negative 10 to negative 22 Celsius. And it needs to be... <clears throat> uh, continent is Asia. And then that's... What is that? Temperate and... Not temperate. Taiga and Tundra. That will matter later when we're putting in the things, the nature things and whatnot. Um, okay, we're good there. <clears throat> uh, relation with humans is neutral. Can guest enter habitat? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, oh, what was the... Uh, I forgot to write down barrier... Grade four climb proof. Yet they don't need climbing. I guess they can climb. They just don't need it. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll do researching later. They don't get along with other animals. World records. That's pretty cool. I wonder if this is legit. Is this within the game? Or is this like for real stats? Um, Raya, Himalayan, if I can spell Himalayan right, <laughs> it's right there in front of me, Himalayan brown bear, I love beauty. No, I think this must be 
in-game stats. That's a shame. That'd be really cool if this was updated with, like, for reals things. Okay, so we got our stats that we need. Let's work on our barrier. <clears throat> so, again, we've got our null barrier. Let's go ahead and turn on... Hello? Can... Oh, I guess this barrier can't... Oh, no, no. Paths snap to barriers. You dumb dumb. We haven't done the paths yet. So let's uh, make that longer. Excellent. Oh, this is going to be a massive habitat for them. It's well, and here's what I can do though. <clears throat> okay, here's here's what we'll do. Um, hold on, I gotta move that closer. I like it. You can grab that and kind of fine tune it. Um, we will let the people go walk among the bears. Uh huh? Maybe even up over them a little bit. Um, so how do we want to do this? Let's, yeah, this can be a path going in where the people walk in. Uh, but I want this curving now. Uh, how do I, oh, no, that was the curve I wanted, I guess. Yeah, let's do a shallower curve there. Now do a longer curve. And again, we're, we're doing this with the null barrier now to make sure it's long enough or big enough for the bear. So then we will... Uh, no, 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 we can do the curve still. We just want it smaller. We end the path. Um, this is certainly going to be big enough. I'm trying to want to, I'm trying to, I'm worried about making sure the path is that I'm giving, I'm giving enough area for the path. This is where I kind of need the path first, but we're going to try this for now. I mean, they'll still be able to see. And actually what I may do is I may <clears throat> go ahead and well, let's do one more here. Let's adjust that a little bit. Okay. Yeah. No, that ended up coming out more than I expected it to, but that's okay. And then it'll curve. Uh, do we want that curved? I guess we don't need that part curved. Let's let's go straight now. Because this side will be solid. They won't be seeing this side. And so what we'll do is this here will be where the keeper's gate is located so that they can access that. Let's adjust this right here. Bring it that way a little bit. There we go. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and put in habitat gate so it is officially a habitat oh it's not working there okay that's odd oh no oh, okay it's still there <laughs> I was panicking for a second there it just disappeared on me come on there we go that's all I need you to do right there <clears throat> okay so we have this habitat now it says ready. Let's just throw the bears in there. Let him, let him, or the bear, let him run around. But do you see my idea now with the circle? <clears throat> so the hippo, the hippos will attach here and come out here. Um, so how big is this area? Land area, 2020, and it only needed to be 550. There you go, bear. You're going to like me. 
Oh, this is gonna be a cool idea. I hope. Um, okay, so let's <clears throat> let's change this barrier now. This barrier. Uh, edit barrier. So what we gotta do is we gotta select the whole thing. And so we need um, grade four climb proof. Uh, okay, so, okay, those are gates. Grade two, grade three, uh, brick is grade five, grade two, grade two, grade one. So it has to be the brick. I thought there were more than that. Maybe I have to research them. Okay, well, it's going to be the red brick. And it didn't have a height. Did it? No. Set it. Do the do the brick. Why didn't you do the brick? Obstructed. Oh, no. Okay. I'm guessing it has to do with this. Right, let's bring you in. Could also be this path over here. Being too close. <clears throat> I love how you can just edit small sections. It's so beautiful. Okay, so now, will you let me do it? Still. Hmm. Oh, it could be... Well, no. That's not the issue. I was thinking maybe that curve over there is too small, but... I don't think that's the issue. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do parts of it. Okay. That'll tell us what it is. Okay, well, whatever I just did must have fixed it. Okay, so. Oh, this is going to be cool. This is going to be cool. Okay, so uh, now we need to make some of them glass. One-way glass, specifically. Uh, oh. Oh, no, I have to research one-way glass. All right, well, we want all of this to be glass. I didn't know I needed to research that. That's crazy. And you know what? Let's just only let them see it once they come in here. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> so, what we want to do is... How am I on money? 21,000. Um, the, uh, the hippo exhibit... How much space do the, do, do the hippos need? Uh, that exhibit may... Oh, there's three of them. All right, how much space do you need? You need more space than the... Maybe this should be the hippo exhibit. <laughs> um, no, I, I know I, know, I, I want to do something else with the hippo exhibit where the guests go down and see under the water with the hippos. Um, so yeah, the hippo exhibit may just be like here and we'll use this area for miscellaneous stuff. Um, okay. So let's finish this. We want to finish this one today, or at least mostly finish it. Um, so let's get this path going. So we know we want, okay, go a little bit shorter. We don't want we we want to keep the main loop 
wide. Um, however, here we can bring it in smaller. Log rounds path. That sounds cool. Um, so let's start there. Can I make it uh, narrower? From there, no. Okay. Stop. Okay, undo. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, now. We need to go narrower. Good. I forgot I needed a snap too, but that's not going to matter right now because I need to edit this, make this a little bit wider. with people but eh, you know what just means more money for me um all right that's not going any further eh, that's fine uh what we'll do is we'll adjust this now bring that in like that let's move this one over That's a bit more even. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and was this wall climbable? It's not climbable. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Uh, now then, we need to decorate this place up. Um, so let's... So the easiest way i found to do this is if we go into animal trading... Animal, animal storage and we move the bear into um, the habitat we can see what they like and what not um, however I have not hired anyone yet so let's do that caretaker keeper Mechanic. I'm not going to worry about security or vend vendor right now or veterinarian. That's just more money. Um, and I suppose we're open, so I guess I better put in some shops. Let's just do the bare minimum for right now. Guest facilities, hide blueprints. We're just going to do it bare bones for right now. Uh, information center. That sounds good. That's fine, right there. Uh, information center. Chief beef. Gulpy soda. Um, that's fine for now. And toilets. And let's get an ATM over here. Right as they walk in. Boom. Okay, so they can come, get money, buy things. <clears throat> All right. And come see the bear that isn't in there yet. Need a workshop that cert. Okay, I know I need that stuff. It's coming. All right. There is our Himalayan bear, Vinaya. All right, let's see what she needs. She needs no more of this long grass. She wants snow. Oh, which means I'm going to need to buy coolers for the area. Okay, so terrain. Oh, 
Oh, this might have been a bad idea to do this bear first. Scroll down, there we go. It's cool though. Is it gonna bake the, oh, it's gonna make all that snow too. Why is it? Oh, is it? I don't understand why it's only white like when I'm near it. Oh no, you know what? No, it doesn't constrain it to, huh. I might clean that up later. Okay, so there's no snow. I think that's because, um, uh, here we go. I need coolers. Okay, so we're gonna do, oh. okay, I can't, I gotta get a good glimpse at how much this is covering. Okay, let's do one. Two, three. Okay. There's three coolers. Can I set the temperature? Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, negative 10 to negative 22. I can only get to negative 20. Okay, that's fine. Let's get, let's do it to negative 16. Um, operational periodic power costs zero temperature change um, okay it'd be cool if I could like link these up together I'm assuming that one will reach over here so let's check on our bear is the temperature better Environment, plants coverage. I'm not seeing temperature. Temperature, 100%. Okay, good, good, good. Now then, uh, please tell me I can put snow. Maybe that. Maybe it'll. Maybe it'll catch up as the temperature catches up. I mean, there looks like snow to me. Let's speed up time just for a quick second. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now we're good. Still says... The, oh, oh, there is long grass. Okay, let's just... You just want this all to be snow. There you go, little guy. And I think it would be cool if the if the path was covered in snow as well. All right, is that better? Come on, give me snow. Okay, well, he's happy. The guests are coming. Let's pause. Oh, that's just because of where the cooler is. So let's, here's what we'll do then. We'll put another cooler over here. Let's move this one. I don't think it's reaching that area quite well. Um, duplicate? Duplicate. Okay, what else do you need? Uh, terrain, you need a hard shelter. So we can work on that for you. Beds and shelters. Uh, oh, that's, uh, that's one I downloaded off the market. Here's somebody, somebody made Pride Rock. <laughs> That's so great. Um, I don't, can I filter it by species? Himalayan brown bear. Okay, so that one will work. Okay. Let's give him a nice shelter over here. Where he's got snow. Let's lower it down just a touch. Boop. And put a bed in there. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah. Place. That's cool. Oh, that looks great. And the snow, like, covers it a little bit. Okay. Hard shelter is complete. One thing I figured out is some of these stats, you have to press play in order for it to change. <clears throat> All right. Environment. Plants. Nature. Plants. 
I need Asia and Taiga Tundra. <clears throat> Broken Himalayan Pine. That's cool. So let's put some of these like... Ooh, can I have that cover up the... Yes! That can cover the... Oh, that didn't actually move when I tried to move it earlier. Hold on. There it goes. Or maybe it did. All right, make another one of those. Nope, that's not what I selected. Oh, you're a part of that. No, remove from the group. How do I remove that from the group? That I don't want that with that. No. Um, oh, I have to go into edit group. Split from group. There we go. Okay. Okay, another stump there. Big stump here. And another one over here. Cool. But yeah, these are nice to have like up by the window because the people can still see around them. Um, all right, let's go back in to nature plants. Let's do some more dead trees. I like that idea. Let's do another one that's down lower. There we go. Um, let's see. Birch tree. Ooh, I like the look of that. That's neat. Give him a nice tree by his uh by his little shelter over there. Also block the view of the of the guard gate. Do another one of these over here. I feel like he'll like that. That's terrific. Fantastic. Put a dead tree over here by this one. Alright, what else we got? Himalayan pine. That adds a nice bit of color. Let's put that over here where it's not as snowy. At least not yet. Ivy spread. That go up against the wall. Yeah. Tin flower. Small. That looks nice. Maybe a couple of those over here as well. Flower medium. And a large. Okay. Uh, what else? Bearberry bush. I want that. Yep. good um there's no rocks here oh there's rocks here's rocks okay let's go to rocks oh there aren't any rocks which seems odd i don't know if he just wouldn't like those at all um one thing i definitely want to do though is i want to take the terrain <clears throat> now if i adjust the height can i tell it okay So if I raise this up, does it raise that stuff up with it? It does not. Undo. If I turn this on, does it raise it? No. Okay. I forgot I wanted to like adjust the scenery a little bit. I do want that to be snow, though. Just to, get, just to give me something. To give him something kind of mountainous, you know? And now I understand why he doesn't want water. Snow. Okay, 
So that gives another dimension to it. That's good. Oh yeah, that's great. Whoops. That looks really good. Okay. Um, what else do you need? <clears throat> Plants. Uh-oh. Are there some... Oh, let's hit play. See if that adjusts. Okay. Plants are still low. Plant type and coverage is inappropriate for this animal. Oh, it needs a lot more coverage. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We can absolutely do that. In fact, yeah, I think I want more dead trees. That'd actually be cool to have, like, up front. I like that one at an angle, actually. That's kind of cool. Sure, a little bit of variety. Yeah, I don't really like that with the rest of them. Uh, let's put some of these up here. It's a big one right there. baby one all right he's just now starting to get happy with the coverage so let's keep going a bit more and we could just do more um more bushes and things that counts too. Uh, maybe we do do an ivy patch. Fantastic. Why haven't I done those? Oh, that's terrific. Yes. Where is that? Himalayan pine. Okay, yeah, so I placed that one up there. It was just that one that I hadn't seen. Let's put another one of those in here. Okay. You gotta just go flat. Go flat for me. Good. Now let me move you. Not you, you. Whoops. It's not what I meant to hit. There we go. He's still at a wonky angle. There we go. Much better. Yeah, look at our bear habitat. All right, let's uh, let's make sure everything's good. Um, enrichment is low. We can take care of that real quick. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. That's fine. All right, enrichment. Uh, so you do like to climb. This is your enrichment. But wait, hold up. Food enrichment. Why is that not showing anything? Do I just... Well... Do I not have anything researched for food enrichment? Oh, that's a shame. All I've got that he'll use is some climbing stuff. Okay, well. That's a bit of a shame. But we can do it. Uh, let's see how big this is. There. Nope, play. 
twice. Oh, there we go. That works. Okay. Uh, now let's get maybe a ramp form. Oh, that's, that's, uh, no, that's not what I want. Here we go. There we go. You should be able to climb up on that. Uh, let's hit play. Did that help any? No, he doesn't want climbable. He just wants toys and food enrichment, which I don't have researched yet. Okay, so we're, we're just going to have to have uh, her, I keep saying him, her be a little unhappy for the time being, uh, which is unfortunate. Let's see what she does. Oh, you know what I need? You know what I need? I need a place to feed her. Hold up. Habitat. Um, food and water. It's just a little important. Water right there. And she can... No, let's do a large food tray. Cool. And how much money do we have left? Ten grand. Okay, so uh, we're going. We're going to. We're going to want to put down donation bin. Where is that at? Donation box. Yes. Gonna want one down here at the end. One here. And one here. Um, I, I'm not, I can't do, well, I'm, don't say you can't do Kyle. You don't know for sure. I don't think I can do anything with speakers or signs or anything yet. Uh, Habitat Education Board. We can put you, whoa. Why are you so oddly positioned? Can't you just be straight? Oh, no. I can't put him in lane. Oh, okay. Well, that's not the way it's supposed to be turned. Let's fix that. Um, I guess this should. Hold on. Let's just move it right here. There we go. Okay, good. So we've got that. It's kind of clipping with the wall a little bit. Okay. Check. Beautiful. Oh, that's great. Right in front of the donation bin. Let's actually move that a little bit now. Right. Boop. Um, and we can put, a, put down a speaker as well. Um... Ambient speaker, educational speaker, music speaker. No, educational speaker. Boom. And tell them about the Himalayan brown bear. Yes. Cool. All right. So that is good to go. Uh, that That's enough for today. I, I'm warning you, these episodes might end up being long because I do want to kind of complete things. Uh, we're definitely not done here, but I've got to start researching. But I've also got to start making money. Which means these good people need to donate. Uh, you guys, the bears? Over here. You're totally missing the bear, folks. Alright, your problem, not mine. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Adios! Goodbye.